What's going on YouTube? It's Tyler from Antenna Man. This video is about how trees affect over the air TV signals. Now many of you may have a problem with trees right now or some of you may be considering cutting the cord. How do trees affect over the air signals and is it an option to actually get over the air TV if you have a lot of trees in your area? I'm going to get into that in just a moment. First, I'd like to give a shout out to Raymond, Philip, Larry, and John for donating to my YouTube channel. As many of you know, I spend many hours each week making these videos, respond to everyone's comments, um, putting antenna recommendations based on people's location. That takes a lot of time out of my day and even affects how much money I make with Grubhub because I'm responding to these comments all the time. So if you feel my videos are helpful, feel free to follow the link in the description and donate to my channel. But on to the video for now. Trees themselves aren't too much the problem just kind of being there. The problem is in the wind when they start to move around, they can shift the signal. And if you have a small antenna or weak signals, that will give you some dropouts whenever there is a strong wind in your area. Let's say my eyes are the signal and you can see my eyes kind of going through my hands like they're trees. When the wind starts blowing, you can see my eyes aren't as easy to see. Now to determine how strong the signals are in your area is to go to antennaweb.org and type in your address. If you see yellow, green, and just a few red signals, those signals are typically strong enough to overcome the interference and changing signal paths from trees blowing in the wind. But if you see purple and blue signals, those are very weak signals. And typically, if you have a lot of trees and even a forest in your backyard, there's a good chance that you won't really have any reception on very windy days. Now, if you do happen to live in a very wooded area and the signals are fairly weak, there are a few things you can do to reduce the amount of dropouts you get on very windy days. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have a good antenna set up in the first place to capture as much of the signal as possible. These are a few large models I recommend depending on what kind of signals you have in your area. If it's all UHF, you want the first model. If it's UHF and high VHF, you want the second model. And if you have low VHF, high VHF, and UHF, the third model will work best. You also want to make sure that your antenna is mounted as high as possible. And depending on how your house is set up, if you're able to use some chimney straps, mount a 10 foot pole to the chimney, you may have to purchase one of those antenna towers they sell online because you don't want to mount an antenna 50 feet in the air with just one pole and no support. It's just going to come down as quickly as you put it up. Finally, you'll want to make sure that you have a decent preamplifier on the antenna to make up for any signal loss when running the long coax cord. I attached a video in my description to a few preamplifiers that I recommend. So the combination of those three things should definitely reduce the amount of dropouts you get if you have some trees in your yard or even a forest behind you and the signals aren't too weak. Unfortunately, some of you may be in the position where the signals are way too weak to the point that no matter what you do, you will get some dropouts on very windy days. I've been in that position before when I was going to set up antennas. I told the people straight up, listen, you have way too many trees. The towers are 70 miles away. There's mountains in between the towers. You're just not going to have any reception on these very windy days. So hopefully this video was helpful for you to determine how trees affect over the air signals in your area, depending on how strong your signals are, how many trees you have, how tall the trees are, all of those factors that I just went over. Hopefully this video can help you improve your signal. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel for more cord cutting related videos and have an awesome day.